It's me again. We got a heavy box from American Thrift Supply. Uh, it's supposed to be apparel, I believe. I didn't get my uh, other boxes I ordered yet. None of my fun boxes. So I'm not sure where that's going. <laughs> but I'm awaiting. Okay, let's see. Let's open this sucker up. I don't think I've had a very heavy box like this in a long time. Yep, so this will be interesting. Let's see. Peril Supply Mystery Box. Quantity 1, $29.99. Shipping $9.99. Grand total, $39.98. Okay. Well, this is our box inside. So let me set it down here. See what we got in this thing. So far I've been happy with their boxes. This is White House Black Market. Trying to get it set up so it'll show better. Fuzzy. Fuzzy Wuzzy. This looks like black to me. I think it is black. These are white leg pants. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, I like these. What size we got here? Flare leg 14 small or short. At 14S is what it says. And it don't look like flares. It really looks like wide legs, but got that. Let's see. Yep. Um, yeah, that's what it looks like to me anyway. Flares to me ain't that wide, but you never know. All right. Next. <laughs> this is... M plus M, we the freaked. Oh, we the free. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I guess it's a medium. I never heard of we the free. But that's a cute little shirt. Got a lot of fuzzies hanging around. Hi, low. It's cute, though. Mm -hmm. Nice and soft. It's like a, a peach color. Let's see. This is Eddie Bauer. Looks brand new. Women's 14. Khaki shorts. Feels brand new, no tags, and there, oh, that's another little hair. <laughs> it looks like fuzz balls, I don't know. Like, you know, when you pull it from the laundry. These are cute, though, I like these. Yep. Like cargo shorts for women. For women. Let's see. Ooh, what do we got here? Feels kind of... Let's see. White House Black Market, size 8. Let's see how this goes here. I guess it ties around this way with a tie. And it is a sleeveless crossover in the front um, dress. I think it's a probably mini. Um, I think it's cute, and I like the green. 
Let's see. This is size 8. Not a bad size. This looks like it was never worn. Like it should have a tag on it. But it don't. That's cute. Alright. Let's see. Kelly Hansen, extra large, HH. I haven't ever heard of Helly Hansen. If you have, let me know what you have heard. It looks like a nice shirt. It is a t-shirt. Very good condition, kind of charcoal gray. Okay, this one's soft. This has tags on it, XXS, 2X small, I guess. It comes with a button. It's brand new. I don't see a tag on it except for that. Um, this is more of a, a summery dress. Very cute, though. This would be nice for Easter, actually. That's what the bottom looks like. This is also White House Black Market, guys. Yep. And it has two little blue buttons on the back. If I can get a button here. Okay. And that's what the back looks like. This is probably knee length. Okay. Let's see what I got here. Oh, this is cute. This is Anthropology. Size U US 10. That's cute. I like those little buttons on the cuffs. Those are cute. If I can hold it in my hand. <laughs> it's like a litho dress. It's like a really light blue with black uh, floral pattern on it. And it has a lining in it. So, I mean, it would be okay with some uh, um, tights for winter. Let's see, this is Ralph Lauren 3XLT, wow that's a big one, <laughs> this is a big one, I think this is a men's, but that's mm -hmm. okay, that's okay, it is pink and blue and white, but that is a big shirt. Hmm. Mm-hmm. A button up. Looks new. No tags. Let's see. This is free people. I think we had a pair of these before. I can't remember which box. I'm pretty sure they came in um in a um ATS box as well. Um, let me get this button here. Okay. Feel kind of like denim. Looks like a skirt. Yeah, it's a skirt. That's what it is. Huh. That's cute. Let's see what our makeup of this thing is. If it has something in it. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, there we go. It is.
85% cotton and 14% linen. Okay, that's cool. Alrighty, and last but not least, oh, this is pretty. Ooh, I like this. Mauve Anthrop by Anthropology, size US6. This feels nice. That is a cute little dress. Now, I would wear this if it fit me. Yep. It's very flowery. And it's got some cute little buttons on the cuffs. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. That is cute. Now, this is kind of lightweight. Let's see, does it say what's, what it's made out of? Uh, let's see. Yes, and it even has a brand new button attached to it. And it is 100% viscose. Whatever that is. <laughs> but it is cute. Okay, guys, let's see what we got here. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten pieces we got, guys. Not bad. I'm not disappointed in this box, actually. I like the brands I got. Um, I think that uh, I'm hoping that I get my... Uh, my fun box. I should have got it by Friday, I would think, but I didn't. Um, and we're trying to, me and Bert are trying to get a battle of the fabric boxes going too. And I'm waiting on a fabric box for that too. And uh, so we shall see. Uh, I did want to let you guys know that I've seen a few things online. Let's see. One of them was that the Postal Service was not going to be raising the rates in January. Yay! <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> um, I also wanted somebody to let me know about Pirate Ship and how to use that. Um, because, I don't know, I just... Uh, the shipping on eBay is just not working out the way I want it to. Um, I just, when I, it looks like they're charging me shipping in my bank account and they're not replacing that with the shipping that the people paid. And the only reason that I figured that out is, well, you know, I'm on Poshmark, Macari and eBay and Depop, but I haven't even got to go list anything on there yet and um I need to do that too uh I was just looking at figures and I was watching you know Macari the way that they're uh charging now I love the way they charge and you know they take care of the postage you don't have to worry about whether it's being put back in but I don't seem to be making any money with eBay, so to speak, even when I sell stuff. Um, but I am ending up paying for a lot of postage. And the postage is supposed to be paid for by the customers, in mine anyway. And uh, they are paying it. But instead of taking it out of what they pay, they're supposed to take it out of my bank account and then just put the whole amount in the bank account or wherever, um, including the postage, less the eBay fees, right? Well, I don't think that's happening. I might be wrong, but I, I, I haven't went through it with my fine tooth comb yet. <laughs> but uh, also, um, oh, there was something else I was gonna tell you. Darn it. Oh, 
PayPal joined with Amazon. So now PayPal is a way to pay on Amazon. Hmm. I wonder how that's going to affect eBay. Let me know in the comments what you think. Because I think for a very long time, there was thousands of people on PayPal that loved Amazon too. And they were wanting to buy on Amazon, but they couldn't pay with PayPal. So I'm wondering how that's going to work out. I think it's going to be great for Amazon. Um, I'm just wondering how that will affect the customers and the, well, let's say the sellers and the buyers on eBay. Is that going to make it worse or better? Just put worse or better in the comment. I'm wondering. <laughs> well, guys, I'm going to let you go. Please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, we would love to have you. Make sure you go check out all our friends that are going to be in this collab with us that's coming up with Scarves next Saturday, the 28th. We are having a collaboration of ladies and myself that are going to either open up a scarf box or we are going to do some of our own thrifting and show those. I'm not sure what everybody's doing, but I can bet you it will be interesting. So make sure that you check out Happy Hour Hollers, Jamie A.K., The Bag Lady, Steph Styles, uh, Cammy's Craft Teats. Uh, 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 man, I know so many of them. Let's see. Okay. I have to write them down. That's it. <laughs> I love you guys. We'll see you on Wednesday night. Don't forget to come back and see us. Bye.